morning. <clears throat> Not normally up this early, but I've got kids this weekend, so. So when you start this early, you need a nice espresso. You can't work without one. And of course, check your Facebook. Once you've done that, your mind's at ease and you can get on with your work. So, after chatting to Bob yesterday, I do need to build up a bit more of a body of work. And the ideas I've been playing with is like text with an image. It's like these kind of things. I, I like this. Last night I looked at quite a few, few artists who use text from Jasper Johns, Bruce Newman, Barbara Kruger, uh, Patrick Brill, uh, Ed Rushka, and many more. There's quite a few on there. I've had a look at there. Getting, getting a broader spectrum. I've got a few more to look at. You know, I even, even thought of fairly obvious ones like Tracy Emin and that. So I'm going to look at those and get, get a broader idea of where people have used text within their, within their artwork. And, and, and for why they use text as well. Was it to maybe describe it or was it just as an illustrative kind of purpose? And, and explore that a bit more. So last week I went down to, to Freeze. Brilliant experience, really enjoyed it. And of course I did my old little trick of everywhere I go. I'm always picking up leaflets and postcards and here I So I've got I've got a little collection of things that I've been getting over the last few weeks from from everywhere I go uh, and as I've done before we had a, a lecturer came last year Steve Chambers and I liked how he painted over wallpapers and that uh, and I've adapted that kind of idea within my own process but I like to play on the things that I've already got and, and change them, change what they look like the, the poster here is this is four posters that I got from uh, the back um, uh, oh Liverpool last year and as you see here the original posters I'm here and I've painted over the top which is there's four posters there that uh, changed the way we view these so and so that's I put an image on a title as it were some kind of reference and a quote by Hunter S. Thompson. Just tie it all in together. It's just uh, one one thing I did for a bit of fun one time when I was having a bit of a fallow in the studio. And instead of being sat there doing nothing, I dragged these posters out that I'd got and I had a play with them. So I'm going to have a look through these today and I'm going to paint on a few of them and uh, see how that comes out. I might even then replicate that onto these sheets that I've been making. So we'll see how that goes. So what have we got here? Well, obviously, I'm going to have a read through the free art newspaper. It's a poster thing here, which... Again, I'll, I'll take the references off this before I actually do any uh, mark making onto this. And quite a few uh, artists referred to there. But it's these kind of things, may just do like some little postcard kind of a size uh, images. So I may paint a complete different image over the top of this, revealing a few, a little bit th through it. Um, as I mentioned before, similar to what Steve Chambers did. So you know, I like that idea. So I'm going to just play around with that a little bit today. And uh, yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll have a bit of fun with that one. Excellent. So... So setting your work surface out and in preparation for the day's work is important. Um, call to mind Bob saying this yesterday in our in our strand briefing, how as uh, he prepares to paint, he gets so many, he gets everything out, he gets all his paints out, but he may only be using a couple of colours. But they need to be there and, and such. And it, it came to mind this film here. I uh, watched a fair while back it's about three hours long and it's about an artist who returns to a, a, a painting that he'd abandoned earlier he'd been inspired by this model that he meets well this lady and she becomes his model uh, 
most of the three hours which really struck me about this film is is him spending time preparing the four models there waiting to to be painted and he spends a, a good half an hour almost setting out his paints and putting, putting his, his brushes there and then 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 moving them there and then then walking over here and and getting a bottle of water and, and oh yes I, I'll need I'll need a drink and oh maybe I need another coffee oh no I've still got my espresso there um, oh a toothpick I might need a toothpick um, um, have I got everything and and it's almost like there's this absence of this model here the the important things are all his tools all the things he's going to use so uh, so yeah so I think I'm going to spend a good hour getting my brushes in in the right oh wait that one should go there i think and that that, that looks about right now um uh, and and i'll uh, come back to you once i'm prepared and ready to actually do some work maybe it's procrastinating who knows hello so i'm gonna use one of these flyers that i got from freeze the other day and i'm gonna paint do a, a an image of this since uh, me died this week so I thought well I'll do something that I'm interested in so I'll just do uh, my outline first and then I'll uh, I could have uh, cheated and, and got a, just a photocopy of this image off uh, Google Images or something like that, but to get this kind of imagery, I do like to have a bit of free hand to it and uh, it tends to have a bit more uh, personality to it then, and it being very static in how it should be. So thank you for that. Right, so I've got my basic sketch in there, and I'm first. I'm just going to make it look classic, so I'm just going to go for the black background. Um, but because I'm playing with text and things like that, I will then add over the top of it. I'm not going to go for Transformer as too obvious a title, but I've got a few ideas. So, so I'm just going to fill this in and see how it looks, and then while while the paint's still wet, I might use some of these colours so I think you know I've got a quite a close um, one there or well, might even get some gold paint later on today I'm not, I'm not too sure so start applying yeah my background and then again that maybe not see here we are I'm making this up as I'm going along and there will be a little bit too precious and maybe have this kind of effect this might might look better if not, I can always fill it in afterwards, kind of. So yeah, I like this as an experiment and see how it works and see uh, if I stick with this more looser kind of imagery it ties in with maybe a, this kind of style of painting that I do tend to do. Um, so you can see basically how I'm doing it, so catch up in a bit when I'm done. Let's 
good old glue there so I'm gonna let that dry oh no actually I might work a little bit of paint into it while it's uh, it's still wet actually let um, me see what what I get with that okay let's see how this goes right well I want to record while I paint this so it's interesting I'm gonna try to paint it by oh that's unusual no that don't work to wear. Now, one thing is, I don't. Uh, I, although I love playing music, I notice that I don't tend to play music while I'm uh, when I'm working. It's really odd that one. I used to do, and I used to find that it affected the uh, the painting by what, whatever track we're coming on. And of course, no album's the same all the way through. So uh, I think the painting would uh, alter. As I was uh, going along and uh, I think that, uh, I think that's why I stopped. That's why I stopped uh, putting music on while I was painting um, but I thought if this is like a, a bit of an epitaph to, uh, to good old Lou I think this the lyrics from this song would be very apt and good night ladies ladies good night it's time to leave so goodbye let me tell you now Good night, ladies. You can bear my singing. Good night, ladies. I need a bit of black behind that, I think. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that one. Uh, again, I like this idea of playing with text within an image, over an image, multi -layering. I mean this one I could continue with but I like just the way it just finishes off there. I've used that iconic imagery and um, that is well known. Especially you know the generation that do know the, um, the Lou Reed album. You know I mean you can't mistake the, the classic album cover there. Uh, and so maybe using something like that, um, you know, you can you can think of these iconic kind of images. Um, I think others are those like your Che Guevara's and and such um, album covers. I don't know, just play with those ideas. But we'll see how it goes. Haha, <laughs> never be a filmmaker, will